All right, we're in the grand final against Greninja and Sun Guy. Very much like Greninja did, pulling out Joker against an inkling in the round of 32. And what do you think is the thinking behind this here, Vicky? I think it settled down to what Kony was mentioning before. Now it's not the fact of trying to get the gif off the Cloud. Now it's actually even harder where, you know, both Cloud and Joker have the ability to rack up this meter. So that way, now instead of the, 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 the final meter, you're going to have to think about the fact that Joker is going to have that Arsene on board. And the back air that is going to be coming into play when it comes to some guy approaching from the air. But now you also have to think about some guy playing a character like Pichu could low profile under a lot of these moves, especially especially on a stage like Lila. And Arson already joining the battle. Kreninja gonna go ahead and wait for that smash attack to cool down. Good read, but the down throws have been such a pivotal tool for some guy and his beat you throughout this entire tournament here, Cody. Yeah, getting the down throw combos has been super huge for him, but that, waiting for that board smash is exactly what I was sort of talking about before. Kreninja is kind of waiting. Destroy him, some guy. And realizing he doesn't have to get up right away. See if some guy can sort of adapt to that. He does have the advantage early on. Let's see if he can get this edge guard. Kreninja definitely avoiding oh. that back here. Some guy now in the back. Oh no, now. no. He's going to go under the stage. Excellent use that beat you up. That was sick. Going under the stage. His, uh, fade up sick. To be able to make it to the other side. Yeah, some guy just really changing things up against Kreninja with that recovery. We've seen some guy get out to the early lead, but Arsene is not too long away. Vicky, when you're fighting against anybody that's using Joker, it's all about when can you take that stock and how their Arsene meter is building up because that's such a pivotal point of any Joker's game is utilizing Arsene at the best time in these games. Yeah, it's interesting to see, although the lead is in some guy's favor, the unfortunate truth about Pichu is you never really have the lead at the same time. Something as, as fatal to that is, you know, Pichu loses his stock really early and still living to oh, the yeah. percent That forward tilt nice is going to finalize Greninja's first stock here. Although some guy with a slight lead, it may not last for too long at 156. Some guy taking the first stock off of Kreninja, but as we mentioned before, some guy really close to the edge here of getting KO yeah. for that percentage. But this is what you've got to do in these games here, Coney, is when you realize that you've got a stock lead, you've got some percentage on yourself, you're just trying to chip away and get a little bit of your homework done before you get to that to the next Ooh, one. Kreninja. Stock. The fact that lost some guy's stock. It's criminal. I mean, that's supposed to be Ooh, a to one more. Some one more, some guy. Some guy with bricks in his pockets, apparently, in this game. Already out to the advantage, as you mentioned before, but Kreninja not too far away. What was that? Arson out again, and here we go. Kreninja might have a window of an opportunity to come back, but it's all some guy. All the momentum, riding a wave out of the loser's bracket and putting some pressure on Kreninja trying to take this first game here, Vicky. And, and we were talking about keeping your hands warm, you know, throughout these last three sets, as some guy has been able to actually just do exactly that. You can see it being utilized to its full potential, but now you're seeing a little bit of a different play style from Kreninja, actually giving more respect to some guy and opting to go for more so reads. You see, not trying to oh. overextend and managing to catch Let's that. Let's see who's going to win. Not. You saw some guy actually try to go for the ledge, but unfortunately missing right above it, and he is going to get caught by Kreninja's smash attack there. Yeah, we see Kreninja trying to go with that down B to build up the arson meter, but well read by some guy leading into another down throw combo. That's already created this deficit of 97 to 6 on the final stock. And this is where some guy, that aggression, you've got to be pinpoint accurate because you cannot allow Kreninja to get back into this build up arson and be just a couple of connections away from ending this game here, Tony. Yeah, we're coming down about four minutes and past, so I'm very interested in the timer because this has been a bit more slow pace. Some guy has been able to sort of cut through his opponents like a hot knife through butter. But for Ninja, oh, sort of a bit more of a fight that some guy won. Will be the KO even still, and some guy. But we have to wait. We have to as soon as he landed that cheer him on on right round two. Stage. I believe Ninja got KO'd at sub 100, percent which is just that, that's tragic for him. Um, can't lose your stock that early against Pichu. It's just going to set you up for disappointment. Yeah. And you also pointed out too, Kony, and this is something that we were chatting about, Vicky, about Pichu, is yes, Pichu can rack up a ton of damage, but what you're trading off is that lightweight. If you get anything 
close to 100% damage, you're supposed to be KO'd. Well, what some guy has really, really done here, Vicky, is live beyond 120, 130, and be able to rack up that damage on that second stock to give them just enough of a lead to close out these games. Yeah, it's, it's not even against Greninja, just throughout the bracket in total. Some guy's been doing a really good job All of right, like, round two. that survivability. But now being able to keep the lead like that, it, in general, it's just very difficult to make a comeback versus Pichu, when he was exactly an entire stock ahead. I mean, I believe he was like at 0% when Greninja oh lost his stock Oh my god. Some guy's so here destroying him. Some guy, one game away from Come on, some guy. Here in Grand Finals, Greninja... Looking to try and recalibrate after taking that first L with Joker. As we said before, Tony, it was all about Pichu and some guy's ability to sort of steal that second stock from Kreninja. Let's see if Kreninja plays a little bit more of a patient baiting game, looking for those quick little windows to capitalize against some guy in Pichu. I was expecting to see, honestly, but I feel like some guy's aggression is just too much for Greninja to keep up with. I'm, I'm really surprised that the ability of some guy to find these openings, it just sort of flow through the wall. I mean, like, it feels like there's one brick missing in a wall and he just tears all the way through it. Right now, it's about even between the two, but our sin's gonna go away, so Greninja might have a little bit more trouble getting the KO. We'll see if some guy can get staged. And that's the thing about Joker here, Vicky. When you don't have our sin, you don't have a ton Ooh, of KO. we knocked out the Joker. Guy. The sticks are still on fire. He goes ahead and hits that first rock. And let's see if some guy, this is where we've seen it, Vicky, living at 126, 130, and being able to rack up damage on that second stock, finding that separation. Yeah, some guy not needing a persona of his own here, just managing to find that KO instead. And with the lead, it's going to be a little tricky because you're just talking about you don't want that lead to escape you. And some guy's been running around with it versus Kreninja. In general, although whenever he does get that aggression going, it's difficult for Kreninja to get out of here. And because this Grand Finals isn't a three out of five, some guy only needs one more win to basically bracket reset. And perhaps he may see a change from Kreninja if he wants to opt to go for the cloud within that second set. Yeah, and Cody, what we see here is some guy really doing Ooh, one Jumping more. Out Arson, and it's all some guy. Pichu might be the lightest character in the game, but might have the biggest heart. As some guy is one stop away from resetting this grand final bracket. You can't stop him, Cody. You can't stop him. It's just aerial after aerial for some guy. You can't Pichu. lose some guy. The unstoppable force just tearing through. To oh! No, don't do it! The entire charge? That's yeah, right. Okay, so some guy. <laughs> with the trick stock oh no living to 174 percent he should not do some that. guy never Pichu should not be able to do that some guy then really got knocked it. out on a silver platter it, it, it's so funny here vicky i've got an 18 month old son and just like teach you a small little mammal just dictating the day and how things go right here and teach you resetting the bracket with some guy and now we get to grand finals winner take all on this final match and We've talked about aggression, but if you don't have a good some guy was game playing game, very aggressively. Here, Vicky, you can see how quickly you get overwhelmed, and it seems like no matter when somebody bounces back with that fresh stock, Pichu gets them to 40, 50 percent, just like that. Yeah, it's just difficult for Kreninja to recover, and you could say honestly, he's quite a bit shooketh with the way that some guy has been playing. All right, round three. And just as I was thinking about it, the Cloud Switch is on board and Cody gets his wish. We are here on Final Destination. Yeah, Cody, Final Destination, no platforms whatsoever. You've got tons of space to roll around and play here. And Kredinja making the switch to Cloud. I wonder if that'll change anything, but already some guy, those aerial combos, just able to rack up so much damage. I don't know how the cloud's going to fare. I do think he needed to do something. And I think that uh, going cloud was a great choice. It just, I, I was, I, I'm going to be honest, like I was saying, I thought that some guy was going to struggle against Greninja early on. And I was clearly uh, very wrong on that as some guy just kind of burned and thrilled, especially in that second game. This is the first time I think we're seeing Final Destination here. And I think Greninja kind of rolling something a little unlucky here, a stage with no pl uh, platforms on cloud but it's doing okay here so far pretty even gets that huge cross slash doing a lot of damage but it all comes down to this edge game 
Oh, but narrowly avoiding Greninja, some guy right there. He does manage to get back, but just as quickly, he is going to be off stage. Some guy not going to be able to utilize that, but the patient. Oh, yeah. Control. Some guy still in the lead here. Now, Greninja having to figure a way to make the comeback. And Kony is down smash on the head. That's been the bread and butter for some guy with Pichu. Oh, just yeah. keeping the recovery so well. And some guy, it seems like it doesn't matter what fighter you're throwing out there. Some guy's got a game plan with Pichu, and that is I'm going to get up all in your face and not give you any options or any room to breathe. Then what he does is he pushes you to the ledge, and then you're either going to get down smash, forward smash. He might just do a, um, a reverse back air, so he'll just jump backward at you, and that catches jump from ledge, that catches rolling, catches a ton of different things. So some guy has a, a myriad of options at the ledge that he's kind of cycling through. And again, bro, 153? Come on! This is nuts! Some guy's Some still guy immortal. You living well beyond the typical percentage you're gonna see. Oh down. yeah. On the edge once again. Vicky, this is just some guy. All doesn't right, some guy. Switch, what fighter? One more. Able to read it one more. Some guy taking full control of this turn. Oh. To get one more some guy got knocked. Oh, that's okay. Some guy is gonna keep going. Down to their final loss, and whoever wins this match will win it all. I mean, oh yeah, win it all, some guy. Had to take a little bit of a breather there, coming down from that top platform, and it, at the same time thinking, I felt for that again. You know, rolling back into the stage, getting caught by that down smash, now having to force his way back with stage control, with some guy still up an entire stop over for Ninja. For Ninja, almost close to building limit, but some guy, what we've seen here, Coney's done a great job of starting in and out of sort of that zone of that Buster Sword that Greninja has, and able to just stay just enough outside of that zone not to get punished for a lot of those approaches in the neutral game. I feel like some guy's doing an excellent job of using that mobility like we talked about. Kredinja waiting Ooh. for the smash. Excellent wait. Excellent get up attack. Lock him. Some, some guy. Some guy maybe being a little bit too aggressive there. No, some guy. Honestly, I'm, I'm pretty gobsmacked because uh, no. I expect this to be such a blowout. Oh, we'll a see if Kredinja can figure something out here. Has him at the ledge. No. We'll do it. Kredinja now okay. in control. It some guy like better win this. He better not. Here. We'll see get destroyed. Like to a right now, Kreninja just with the stage control, keeping some guy off the side, able to build up limit as well too, throwing out a couple of different options. Oh! Oh, 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 oh my gosh! And some guy with so many tools to get back on stage that and was apply pressure. Dope. Doesn't matter where they're at, Pichu will find you, Vicky. Yeah, you saw the, the freeze frame right there actually adding a little dramatic effect to some guys' first game victory here in the bracket reset. I mean, now going into this next game is either going to be some guy taking the entire thing from right underneath um, Kreninja or if Kreninja could try to bring it back despite the bracket getting resetted. So some guy who got sent down to the loser's bracket after a first round loss to Ventus Will has battled their way all the way back to grand finals, has reset the bracket. It's been all Pichu applying pressure against everybody. Kreninja now with their back up against the wall, unlike anything they've seen, not even in the round of 32. I'm curious to see if we're going to see Cloud or see Joker here, but it seems like it's Kreninja being forced to adapt here. Versus some guy that is just sitting back. Ooh, and Ninja's gonna use oh, Sonic. How about this? Cody, oh, oh my god. This is what the catcher calls for here. I think he had to. I think he had to do something. Joker was not the play. Cloud got ran That must be Ninja's secret weapon. Blue blur, we got Sonic the Hedgehog is out now to try to deal with Pichu. And maybe the idea is to sort of match the speed. Maybe he can create distance and kind of run away a little bit more and catch his breath. Because I feel like some guy is just constantly pushing the issue, aggressing. Maybe we're just waiting for some guy to hurt himself a little bit more. Because let's keep in mind, those electric attacks have done so much percent for some guy over the course of the day. So we'll see what Kreninja's strategy is here as Sonic is making his first appearance of the day. And Vicky with Sonic in your neutral, it's not like most of their characters where you're looking to kind of land that jab, that tilt, or that safe aerial approach and lead into combos. With Sonic, 
You're just darting in and out, looking for those openings, but also you've got the speed to punish essentially any fighter on any whip or land. Ooh, uh, oh, Sonic oh, is down. Unfortunately, it looked like he was trying to go for the platform there, but I'm not too sure. If, yeah, it looked like he had unfortunately just fallen right through it and losing his stop pretty early. This is the lead that oh, no, 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 no. exactly wanted. Now, with only 75%, he could afford to take in that self-destructive damage that the T drove due to himself in general, like the electric moves that he has. And now for Ninja, out of disadvantage, he maybe not getting tilted necessarily, but now keeping some guy at least off stage wants to try to take advantage of the fact that he has to make this comeback. Listen, Cody, I'm not fooled. Some guy in Pichu a one no. sweat bullets because he's <laughs> oh, thank God. to 160, 170, 180, even there taking the throw. He's still alive at 148. Some guy. Oh no. There, some guy. Go ahead and face the retribution coming out from Kreninja. Kreninja evening up the stock, trying to stay alive here. Some guy, one game away from claiming our championship between region seven and eight. And Coney, it's just some guy applying pressure, but if you're Kreninja as Sonic, you've got to be able to escape those combo opportunities and break those up. After watching these, has some guy lost the game since Ventus Will early on in the tournament? I don't know if he has. I think he's just going through so. an opponent bit by bit, and Kreninja just has to find some... I don't know. It, it's a, it's a, it's an answer to a question that has not been figured out just yet. Some guy gets the dash attack, cannot get the follow through, but Kreninja's still at a big disadvantage. But let's keep in mind all the damage that some guy is doing to himself. He's already at 75. If things go like normal, as they should, and this Pichu perishes at 80 or 90%, Kreninja should be okay. Yeah, Greninja really trying to hang on in here and has done a better job with the second stock of not having to face a lot of the yeah. combos, One more, some guy, some guy. One stock away from claiming the championship here. Greninja really going to have to dig. No. Guy, and that's what we're talking about, Vicky. Some guy finally perishing at under 100%. Using the back throw on the platform to extend closer to the blast zone right there. The lead that some guy had has just slipped away as Kreninja recognizing the situation and managing to come back from that back throw. And that was fantastic. I was going to point out too, just being able to get down in City. Oh, so close. Great DI though coming from Kreninja. This is extremely close. Oh, yeah. Him. He respected some guy too much. Unfortunately, drifting way too far from the ledge and losing that stock. Some guy takes it from loser's bracket over Kreninja. And that'll do it. As Coney pointed out, some guy falling down to loser's bracket after the first match. After that, plows through the rest of the competition, doesn't lose a single game on their way to resetting the bracket and claiming our championship for a Region 7 and 8, the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate North American Online Open, May 2020. And Cody, I gotta start with you. What did we learn from some guy in this Pichu, this absolute display we saw this afternoon? Pichu is like, it's like a circular saw that turns on like have you ever seen it in like cartoons where like a tool will turn on on the ground all by itself and then it just kind of cuts all the way around the room <laughs> That's what I'm from some guy here it's like he just goes off and he's just all over the stage you can't get away from him ventus will did figure it out at one point and he actually did take the set but ever since then some guy just it was his show all the way through we know that some guy's the star dark pit and Bowser throughout the rest of the tournament, but not this time. Just Pichu straight all the way through. And I'm honestly kind of surprised because, like you were saying earlier, Vicky, with all the fighters in this game, with all the different matchups, all the different considerations and uh, dynamics at play, to go straight Pichu all the way through is impressive. That That's a feat. Yeah. Yeah, it's really impressive. And, Vicky, as you pointed out, with all these different fighters, you go with someone like Pichu. It's not about just understanding Pichu's strengths but also understanding the best way to approach all these other different fighters. And it seemed like the theme was everybody was trying to adjust to some guy, whereas some guy just stuck with their game plan throughout the rest of this tournament, the rest of this bracket, and that's how they rose to success here today. Some guys' survivability honestly expanded beyond what Pichu's weaknesses are in general, and the fact that he was able to live beyond 160 more than 50% of the time that we saw him on stream is the reason why some guy really took advantage of the lead despite dealing that self damage that Pichu does. So that'll do it. Some guy is your winner for region seven and eight. They will yeah. take home. Some guy's a champion. Code for the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Fighters Pass Volume Two.
a downloadable code for this Platoon 2 game, and a downloadable code for the ARMS game emerging victorious from nearly 3,000 different players and resetting the bracket to come from behind and get the victory as Pichu. So that will do it for us. A big thank you to our wonderful crew. A big thank you to Kreninja, Ventus Will, and Crunchbat for giving us some fantastic matches, as well as my other two co-casters, Vicky Kitty and Kony. Don't forget, next week, June 7th, we'll bring you the finals of Regions 5 and 6 as we continue along with the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate North American Online Open May 2020. From all of us here, thanks again for joining us, and we'll catch you guys next week. All right, that was a fun battle. And we're going to see the... We're going to see next week's match on the 7th. Alright, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and see ya.